Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to show you how to configure master data management with uh, an LDAP. The steps here, apply for any version of the MDM. Okay, the agenda for the videos. First we need to create an authentication provider through the hub console. It's going to ask some properties that we need to fill up. The first one, it's provided by default. The second one is basically the IP address and the port number of your DAP server. The postfix and prefix are some attributes that you provide for MDM to let MDM know where your DAP users are placed in under the, uh, your DAP server structure. Then you need to create an MDM user and specify it has to be authenticated by externally. There is no need to run a synchronization job. The steps from the video are related to Microsoft Active Directory. The attributes and set might change depending on your third part too. Let me show you a demo now. Okay, like I said, we need to get the LDAP attributes to use in the MDM. To get that information, I'm going to use this third part two here, LDAP browser 4.5 version. For this testing, I'm going to use this LDAP user that I just created, ABC space test. Uh, I just go to the properties here and to gather this information, this holy string here. Let me copy it. Now, let me paste it here the notepad. Let's split this. Okay. This one. Okay. This is my LDAP user. This is going to be my username. Postfix. And this one, my username. Prefix. Let me show you how to do that in the hub console. Okay, I just opened the hub console and I come here to the security providers, acquire log. Now I'm going to add a login module. I need to select the Microsoft Active Directory is the one that I'm going to use here. Over here is just the name I can type any name here. I need to to change the IP address. This is the IP address of my ADAP server. Now I'm going to add the username dot post fix. I can gather it here from the notepad. Okay, good. Oops, somehow it reverted back. Let me just save it. I just added the username postfix, and now I need to add the username dot prefix. Let's copy this information here. Okay. It's enabled. So now I need to add the user. Yes, I need to. I want to save this information. Okay. I have already added it here, but let me remove just to, to do it once again. So hit the plus sign. The first name is ABC, last name is test. The username here, it must match the, the one from the LDAP. Here, I won't provide any password because it comes from LDAP server. And I just flag this option here. I need to fill up the email, ABC test at 
informatica that's cool. Okay, it has been added. Now I'm going to do a testing with it. As you can see here, I'm logged with the admin user. I'm going to to change it to ABC test. Let me type the LDAP password and hit OK. Okay, as you can see, it asks me if I want to to select the master database. And as you can see here, the user has changed it to ABC test. So as you can see, it just worked fine. So in summary, today you have learned how to configure the master data management with Microsoft Active Directory. We'd love to hear from you. Please get in touch by support videos at informatica.com or by Twitter, InfoSport. Thank you.